What's going on everybody? It's me David here back for another shave. First off, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. I hope you guys are able to spend uh, time with whatever family you are able to. I know there's a lot of travel restrictions, a lot of meetup uh, restrictions for the holiday, man. But I do hope that you find a way to at least see, talk to, or just um, feel that you really had some type of a uh, experience with the family man because even though the world has been crazy even though we have all this pandemic stuff going on there's still a lot to be thankful for and me personally i'm thankful for seeing another day i'm thankful for seeing another year i'm thankful for my family i'm thankful for the great food that we're about to eat today so um uh, man there's just uh, all kinds of stuff to be thankful for yes could things be better absolutely but it doesn't mean they couldn't be worse so i'm also thankful for that that we are in the position that we are and we're not worse off so all right, guys, so if you guys watched my last video, um, I said farewell to um, the Martinez blade that I was so thrilled to have it. Don't get me wrong. That blade was phenomenal. Loved it. Uh, that would have been in my collection for the rest of my life if this thing right here didn't come up. This baby right here was offered to me by my boy Joe, and I could not resist. Um... I sold the the banana uh, to my boy Nate Bauermeister. We already have an agreement that if it ever does, he ever does feel like moving on from that razor, he will sell it back to me because of the holiday season, because we're around uh, Christmas time. I could not come out of pocket uh, all for this razor. So I sold that razor to help cover a good portion of the expense uh, for this razor. You know, I have a conscience, goddammit. I had to make sure that I could live with myself. And just the reason why I really had to jump on this. Look at that mirror polish. Whew. Beautiful. But the reason why I had to jump on this is because if Mike Martinez himself was making razors right now as we speak, this right here would be the razor that I ordered from. It is a Peacemaker V3 blade. It has that butcher uh, whole accent, uh, which if you guys haven't been paying attention, I am a cook. I love to cook, so that has a nice little significance to me. Square points are my favorite uh, point. And these scales, a few weeks back, I was having a conversation with my son, and um, I told him what my favorite, well, I don't know why we're talking about colors of cars. My favorite is um, a color that Lexus uses. It's their charcoal gray, but it's kind of like a pearl charcoal gray. It's not like the Chevys don't come. These scales are this is a black pearl scale they have that charcoal pearl a charcoal gray pearl look to it that is a real mammoth uh wedge right there so just beautiful beautiful i couldn't ask for th this razor is the perfect razor for my uh preferences aesthetically um i did shave with this already i know i cheated it a little bit but i wanted a little bit of private time with this razor so the first time i used it i did go on my own um, I actually felt that it needed a new edge, so I did actually touch this up. I threw it on the 12K 90 watt Superstone, and I also uh, followed up with the Codico to see if I could actually touch up my first razor. I don't know. I've never done it before. So we're going to see uh, if it's shitty. It's going to be my fault because it wasn't a horrible edge, but you could just tell that it had some use on, use on it. It's ready to go. So if it's bad, it is my fault because it was very shavable, more than shavable. I probably could have got a couple more months of shaves out of it, but it wasn't to where I like it. But so I'm throwing the stones. We'll see if it's horrible. Then I'm just going to have to go grab the carbon, finish up my shave with that. And then I'll go ahead and take this to my boy, Roberto Sanchez, and he'll go ahead and throw on a, a nice edge on it. So there we are. So let's get into it. And for the soap today, we're going to be using decoration grooming. Uh, Dark Fall. This was sent to me by my boy Dave Kelly. You can check him out on Instagram. Kelly's uh, uh, Groom Room. Is it? Yeah, Kelly's Groom Room. I think it is. God damn it. I probably should check to make sure. But my boy Dave Kelly, he sent this out to me. He wanted me to try the Milk State Base because as of this point, I have not tried the Milk State Base yet. The last Declarations Grooming soap that I used was not a Milk State soap. With discussions, you know, it doesn't say on the damn label, so it's hard. It's hard to di differentiate. But uh, people have told me that the milk steak base weren't around yet when that particular soap was. So the odds are that it wasn't milk steak. So I'm excited to use this. 
Um, some people argue that this is the best bass that there is on, on the market. Some people say it's too finicky and they're not fans of it. So we're, we're going to check it out. We're going to actually see. Load it up nice and heavy because I'm not familiar with this bass. I will make an attempt to give it the very best chance for it to succeed. I think that's enough. Uh, if, if it can't work with that type of a load right there, I just don't, it's not a good soap. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. I'm going to go ahead and apply all this extra proto lather. Look how it looks in the bowl though. That's, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. People are saying it's super soft. It's a, it's soft, but I wouldn't really, to me, it's not out of the ordinary soft, but you know, maybe I'm crazy. It's a nice base right there. So this is plenty of soap. If it can't get it done with this, then it's just not, again, it's just not very good. I expect it to be good. Yes, I do expect it to be good. But whether it will be the best out there, who knows, who knows. And it's hard to say best. Uh, Ken just did a video of his, uh, I don't know if his top bases or best bases or whatever. For me, I, I may do a favorite bases. And I'm no chemist. I don't have tests and all that stuff to, to be able to determine which one is in fact better, best for your skin. There's so many damn variables. I just don't know. I won't pretend to know. But there are certain things that I look for in a soap that make bases more enjoyable and to fit more into my preferences. So it's more of a, a, more of a thing of what are my favorite bases as opposed to what are the best bases out there. That's probably the best way. What are my favorite bases to use? You know, density, uh, density of lather or something that I look for. The weight of the lather on my face. How much coverage I am, a, a darker skinned individual. Even though I am pretty pale in comparison to what I was. Uh, I think it was Nate that sent me a screenshot of how I looked back in, I think, 2018. February 2018 many many shades darker that's you know all year round coaching football and then moving straight on to softball that's when softball season starts so i am significantly darker when i've had some sun this quarantine has really kept me indoors kept me from having the fun in the sun so it's, it's, it's a bit of a bummer this beginning lather looks absolutely fantastic I am a fan of how this leather looks. I am a fan of how this leather feels. It does feel nice, dance is cool. Slickness, the way it lathers, how easy it is to load, how easy it is to lather. Oh, a bunch of different uh, stuff goes into why I enjoy using a base. So let's get into it. Let's see if this retouch on this Martinez uh, Peacemaker uh, goes. Yes, honey. What are you doing? I'm doing a shave video. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rocio was uh, kind of asleep right now, and I kind of woke her up. When I say kinda, I mean she was absolutely asleep, and I absolutely woke her up. Oh, I think the refresh helped. Oh, yes, indeed. The true test will be the against the grain pass, of course. For those of you guys that are in the Lather and Blade Facebook group and had ordered um, a Money Pass shirt, I have submitted that order. Because it's so close to the holiday, they're actually off the rest of this week. So the order will start up on Monday. The actual process of making it, you know, that's kind of how it goes. I'm definitely not going to be mad at a small business owner for giving his employees uh, days off for the holidays. So, uh, so you know, kudos to, to him. It would just be patient and wait for the to get done. He did say it shouldn't take more than a week uh, after stuff gets started. Very nice. The only change 
to this blade that I would do is I would try to get it at least a half hollow. This right here is a near wedge. I do generally enjoy the thinner grinds. I like that feedback, but I think you guys can hear it. It's actually, you're hearing the, the sound or the hair cutting, so I'm getting some kind of feedback here, even though it's a beefy, beefy blade. Very nice. And this is no disrespect to any other custom razor makers, but I have used blades that are 8 8 9 8 10 8 They feel cumbersome and hard to maneuver. This one maneuvers really nice. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I think that so far I'm pretty happy with how it feels. And what a cool pairing. I'm sure you guys seen it in, in the uh, the opening of this video, man. But what a cool pairing. <sighs> this brushes with that razor. It just They just look really good together. Close to just damn near being looking like they're made for each other. I'm trying to push the water content on this. I'm trying to see how slick I can get it, especially with this being the against the grain pass. This is the this is the pass that takes a little bit of work. Oh, oh look at what does Anthony, Anthony say? Bloop. Very nice. I think that's appropriate. Maybe even I may have even gone above and beyond on that one. I ain't tripping though. So I'm going nice and slow again. So if this if this razor is indeed not sharp enough, you'll start seeing those yanks and pulls of the skin. I'm trying to go nice and slow. Just so you can see. Again, you can hide a bad edge by swiping this razor across real fast. Over here, I was holding it a little too light. And actually, my fingers were slipping off the scales here. And it looked like a tug. So I'm telling you, that's my fault, not the blade's fault. Oh yeah, that felt good. Much better, much, but much, much better feel than how it came. This is the first attempt I've ever done on doing anything on a custom razor. It is a little nerve wracking. Oops, got a little stuff on. I will tell you, it's a little, it's a bit nerve wracking. I'm really pleasantly surprised with the results of just throwing it on the 12K and and going to the codicle. That's um, I'm I, first time I've ever done it with any razor. Period. Probably shouldn't have tried it with the custom, but I did, and um, well, it worked. So I can say I probably shouldn't have did it, but I did it anyways, and it worked out well. So. Now this scent of dark fall, it's kind of like a pine tar with a little bit of gasoline uh, scent to it. Oddly enough, I love it. 
I do love it. Now, would I want a cologne or a fragrance that smelled like this? No, that's not the case. But just for the sake of using it around the house, just kind of having it or the experience during the shave, it's nice. It's a strong scent, at least for me. It's really filling up the restroom. I take a nice deep breath and you could feel the fragrance of it. that pine tar smell um i grew up playing baseball so pine tar is part of the game well anybody that uses wood bats kind of uncommon but still very nice If you have one of these butcher holes in one of your blades, make sure you get use some Q-tips. Get a little Q-tip, rub it around in there to soak up any of the water. That'll really help. Make sure you don't get rust in that hole. Um, Cause it just gets inconvenient once you start getting into those little crevices and having to clean those out. Not a whole lot of fun. Still not as inconvenient as getting them in your scales and at the pinpoint, but nonetheless, why well, avoid that problem altogether if possible. Very nice. I'll tell you, I am pretty impressed with this base. It's it's a good base. I know a lot of his scents are not always are always ugh. a lot of his scents aren't always a hit for people. Again, this is a weird scent, very outside of uh, the box, so to speak, in terms of stuff that I would normally get. But it's really nice. I always get a few straggly hairs that are right under like the glasses area that sometimes get left behind because I don't want to hit the glasses, but. Make sure I get nice and tight up there. Very nice. Dude, I'm happy with that touch up. Like, I, I really, really am. God damn, this fucking bleed. That nice straight line, very, very nice. When I really use that tip, I, I really like the look of just that clean line of, of lather that it leaves behind. Very nice. Fuck it. I was a fucking good shave, baby. What? No, no, no. I can't get into that right now. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. And we're going to get into the final thoughts of this uh, maiden voyage. Well, not maiden voyage for you guys. The first time you got to see this fucking sexy bitch. I'm going to wash this off and I'll be right back. All right. And we are back. I'm just going to go ahead and pat myself dry with the Lancaster towel. Wow. I use it with the damn leather thing and all on there. I just leave it. I don't detach it, man. All right. So we'll get into the, the bit players, the the, the co-stars, uh, the guest stars of it. Decoration Grooming, Dark Fall. Fuck, what a great base this is. Much better than that last base that I tried. And honestly, I don't even think it's close. That last base wasn't thrilled by. It wasn't nothing to get excited about. It was good enough to use again if the scent and the price was right. This 
It's flat out good. This milkshake base is good. There's no denying it. I really did enjoy it. The post shave, I'm a little sticky. So it's not great, the immediate aftershave. That may be a, a low point of it, but it was slick. It was dense. The lather stability was great. The lather was easy, easy to, uh, to make. And I didn't find it finicky at all. It handled all the water that I put onto it very, very well. So again, the uh, post shave, isn't something to write home about. So that that is that's that's something. But uh, all in all, that was a very very enjoyable shave. Um, yeah, it just is what it is. Of course, just in, just in case you missed it, Wolf Whiskers, th this beautiful beautiful brush, love it. And now for the star of the show, this big old beefy girl herself right here, the Mike Martinez Peacemaker V3, just. Beautiful. Look at that. Even with the soap scum and all the hard water and stuff, you can still see me through the damn mirror polish. Oh, it's just beautiful, man. Again, Joe, thank you so much for, for giving me the opportunity to own this razor. Um, this, and this, again, write this down, screenshot it, mark the date. This is the ideal Martinez blade for me. Um, again, unless one shell pops up somehow, it's a full hollow or half hollow. This is it. Again, that, that grind is the only thing I would change on this thing. Love the scales. Love the wedge. Love the shape. Um, I just love this damn razor. It, it is just that damn good. And for a big beefy son of a bitch, easy to strop. Easy to strop. The, the spine is just rounded off in a way that makes it really easy to flip the thumb notch is big enough in order to get my thumb in there nice to to do my rotation motions in it it's just dude this this is destiny right here this was meant for me to have i just know it i feel it in my bones and i just really appreciate it again thanks again dave Kelly, for allowing me to use that declarations grooming uh soap i don't know if he gave it to me or just let me borrow it i'm not sure i gotta ask him. dave if you watch um let me know if you want me to send this back to you. Um, you know, I know you didn't like the scent, but you may like the soap nonetheless. So we'll see. So guys, if you made it to this point in the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Make sure you enjoy the rest of your day, your Thanksgiving. May your turkey be juicy and just all kinds of delicious. I know mine will be. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So okay, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.